In this video, I want to talk about the tactics they use to manipulate you during the divorce process, why they do it, what damage it can cause you, how not to take part in their games, and finally, I'll give you some tips on how to deal with the triggers and save your sanity. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Goddard, and on this channel, I talk about healing from emotional abuse and divorcing the emotional abuser. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And if you're returning, welcome back and thank you. And thank you so much to all my new subscribers. It's just amazing. So in this video, I want to talk about divorcing the narcissist and how they take apart your emails, your text messages, your letters, and manipulate you with them. The tactics they use during the divorce process, why they do it, what damage it will cause you, and how not to engage in their games. And finally, there's a couple of tips at the end that will hopefully help you deal with the triggers and save your sanity. Manipulation is a tool that they use on a regular basis, and you will have experienced this during the relationship. Abusers are masters of manipulation. They used words to deceive you, to coerce you, seduce you, and mislead you. And this was all to gain power and control. So basically, if their lips are moving, it's a lie. And if you don't believe me, I want you to start looking back at your relationship and the things that they told you. Were they true? I want to be really honest with you because I made a lot of mistakes and one of the biggest ones was trust and trusting them through this process and believing when I was told that they were helping me by arranging the divorce and sorting it all out and paying all the costs. Even when I could see the games they were playing, I was still trapped, believing this was all my fault. I was still stuck for a really long time during that divorce process. And it is the worst time you can be negotiating when you aren't healed from the damage that they've caused. It's really important, really important when you start heading down the route that they were right and this is all your fault that you can bring yourself back to reality and to do it as quickly as you can. Keep asking yourself, is this true? This is the person who told you that you were soulmates and that you were meant to be together. Was this true? They told you that you were the only person who ever understood them. Is that true? They told you that they were the victim in all their relationships. Was that true? Where are they now? Are they with their new soulmate? Are they with the only person that's ever understood them? Are they the real victim? So basically, if their lips are moving, it's a lie. Maybe for uh, liability purposes, I might put a disclaimer in there. But basically, you need to be listening to everything they say and asking the question, is this true? What are they saying to you now? All these promises and the, of the fake future, they've crumbled and are dust. I would really like you to not make the mistakes that I did. And one of the tactics they use during this process is taking something and twisting it around. You might have experienced this during your relationship with them. You said something and they turned your words around to have different meanings. And they use your words to manipulate and confuse you. They will take a letter, email, text message and take the few words that they need to manipulate you. And this can also be done via the solicitor as well. During my divorce process, a judge rejected the paperwork and cited the grounds for doing it. And with every correspondence that went back to the court, the solicitor referred to a part of that sentence with every single letter. And it was, this was part of the game. I would then quote the reason why the consent order had really been rejected with the full statements. If it doesn't work, they will lie or they will massage the truth. They will even use the process to hurt you. And as I've said in loads of different videos, these relationships are games to them. And depending on what type of emotional abuser that you were married to, it will depend on the way they respond they will use this as an arena or a stage to perform on, especially if they get to play the victim. They will take 
everything and they will strip it down and it will be used to either punish you or to trigger you. Your pain is their gain. Just like in the relationship game, they, had, they played with you. They make up the rules as they go along. And as soon as you started to understand them, they were changed to confuse you and to bond you. But the aim of this game is obviously to win. And that will be at any cost, physical, emotional, financial. They don't care how little they will win by, a win is a win in their eyes. But there will be other prizes along the way and for them points mean prizes. So on offer to them is getting a reaction from you. So they will take your response and manipulate it, discarding what they don't need and using what will cause you pain. They want you to react. They want to show how crazy you are and to gain attention when they then play the victim. They get supply, that's their attention, for thinking about the way that you're going to react when you actually read this letter or the email. They know the ways that they can hurt you. You were a project, they studied you for long enough to know how to trigger and get a reaction from you. If you stay in this place, they will continue to hurt you. They are waiting for the reaction. And when it comes, it gives them great joy. In their eyes, this is proof that they still have power and control over you. Not taking part in their games hurts them. And this was one of my mistakes. Make sure that you've healed and you'll know when that is. It's when you don't feel anything. When you receive an email or you get a letter and you don't get a reaction from it. And this was the mistake I made. My guard was down and they waited for the perfect time. And like a greedy fish spotting a worm, but not the hook. I took that bait and I got hurt. Thankfully, it didn't cause any damage to the negotiation, but it's something that I regretted. Everything, I mean, absolutely everything is designed to gain a reaction from you. And that is triggering emotions within you and keeping you trapped, driving you to the point of a nervous breakdown. But the good news is there are a few simple ways of dealing with this. They are intentionally going to create doubt they want to keep you trapped in that trauma bond. Keep asking yourself, is this true? They lied to you before, why would they tell you the truth now? And if they are telling the truth about something, it will be because they know it's going to hurt you. I had that t-shirt as well. Okay, so my eight step strategy is you get a form of communication from them, whether it's email or paper form, and you read through it and then you walk away from it. So whether it's on your laptop or on a phone or in paper form, you put it somewhere else and you walk away. You digest it, you then react. And the reaction actually is really important. I'll talk about that at the end. You then respond. You then read through your response or you get somebody else to read through that for you. You remove all emotion and then you send it. Your reaction shows that you ha still have something that's hurting, you still have a wound. It's really important to keep note of where that is, whether it's in your chest, your heart, or in your head. It's really important because it starts to indicate where you're holding the trauma. It's really important that you start to look for the original wound and you start to heal the wounds that they have caused you. This is all part of undoing the trauma bonding they've tied you up in. Trust your intuition. It's really rare that you're going to actually get proof from the abuser of what they've done. Your feeling is the proof. There will be part of you screaming inside, wondering why people can't see who they are or what they're doing. Just remember, they are paying their solicitor. Of course, they're going to be on their side. They are acting as the enabler. Take a deep breath, find techniques that will help ground you and above everything else, divorce from them emotionally. And then you won't care what they are saying or doing. And you will also be in a much better position to negotiate and call out their behavior. They are going to deploy tactics to manipulate you. You need to be ready. They will manipulate your words and they will use them against you. You need to disengage, find ways to channel your energy and heal the wounds. 
do not take part in their games. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you'd like to find out about working with me, you can visit my website. I'll put the details below or drop me an email. I will also put the links to both my books, Finding Lily and the A to Z of Emotional Abuse in the description box below. And also in the description box, I'll put the links to my groups on Facebook. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video if you know someone who's going to benefit from it. I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love.